brace yourselves. You're about to embark on a journey through Hestech. With your hosts, Irene Mercado and Ivan Herrera. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. Nancy Boteo has the story on Educator Day. Educator Day was filled with many special guests. A congressional roundtable was held featuring Congressman Ruben Hinojosa and Mark Vasey, Dr. Robert Nelson, and Ms. Alejandra Ceja, the director of the White House Initiative on Educational Excellence for Hispanic Americans. The highlight of the day was special keynote speaker, explorer, and environmental advocate Philippe Cousteau. He noted that Hispanics are statistically more sophisticated in their attitude toward the environment. Students who have English as a second language in their homes consistently report environment is a more important issue to them than those communities where English is a primary language. For Bronx Radio News, I am Nancy Boteo. Our Captain Troy Olson shows us the ropes on Leadership Day. On October 8th, Student Leadership Day invited hundreds of high school students and introduced them to career opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and math. The keynote speakers included social entrepreneur and environmental advocate Philippe Cousteau and robotics expert Heriberto Reynoso. Throughout the day, students were also given tours of the UTPA grounds and many prizes. As they concluded their day, these future leaders learned the skills of teamwork and self-motivation to lead in the communities and the world. For Bronx Radio, I am Troy Olson. Representing the Latinas on USS Hestec, Beatriz Ramirez has more. Latina Day was a day full of successful stories and lots of pink. This Mother-Daughter Day serves to promote women in the STEM field. Mothers and daughters had the chance to spend an entire day with prominent women in this field that share their successful stories. The perspective that only men can succeed in this field is broken. Tina Atkins, director from Region 1 Service Center, gaining early awareness for undergraduate programs, also known as Gear Up, shared some information about this event. We have about 240 mothers and about 400 daughters here. And the whole idea is to help girls and their moms see all the vast variety of careers that are available in the STEM fields and to see that you can be a girly girl and be a scientist. For Bronx Radio, I'm Beatriz Ramirez. Our robot engineer and co-captain Khadija Sarate has a story on Robotics Day. Ready, Ready, set, set, rumble. rumble. The crowd went wild with excitement at this year's annual robotics day. Spectators were able to learn about the structures behind robotic engineering and witness the robotic sumo competition where these smart man-made machines built by middle schoolers went head-to-head at the arena. UTPA President Dr. Robert Nelson shared his insight on how he thinks HESTEC helps the students. It starts them on a path towards college. It makes them start thinking about college. It makes them start thinking about different types of careers. Because when you're just, you know, in ninth grade, you aren't thinking about what you want to become. But you come to campus and you hear about engineering or you hear about mathematics or or you do something and and you see NASA, you get excited about the opportunities. For Bronx Radio, I am Kirija Sarate. Our android, David Sullivan, has a story on the Career Expo. At Hestec Career Expo, the students of UTPA were given the opportunity to meet with employers of different careers. These companies gave students internships they could potentially be eligible for. Jordan Anderson of Logicorp had this to say about why the Career Expo is a great opportunity for students. And it kind of gives them an idea of what jobs are available, what jobs are out there, and get in touch with the reality, because sometimes you graduate and you think, I'm going to get paid all this, this day. I'm going to get my ideal perfect job, and you find out that you went to school for something with something in mind and you get out and you end up doing something a little bit different. Yeah. So I think it gives them an idea of what the job market really is and what's available and that way they can kind of set the expectations accordingly. For Bronx Radio, I'm David Sullivan. All hands on deck, Marianne Garcia has a story on Community Day. Community Day was a day of celebration and fun. This free public event had games, food, and performances from Little Joey La Familia, Los Palominos, and Sebastian de la Cruz. With Mariachi Atzatlan. As the headliners for Bronx Radio, I'm Marianne Garcia. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. We have launched to the future. Make sure to join us next year for your 2014 Hestec coverage. And catch our newscasts every week. Thank you for flying the Bronx Radio Airwaves. We hope your ears didn't pop and you weren't hit by that jet lag. We would like to thank our radio advisor, Mr. Fred Mann, our station manager, Khadija Sarate, and all of the BRTV staff. Once again, we are your hosts, Irene Mercado and Ivan Herrera. 
Have a super swell day. day.